This is what content creation looks like with type. Perfect first drafts, zero writer's block, instant improvements with one click. Type calls it writing with you, not for you. And that positioning is key here. In a moment, I'll show you why this approach sets it apart from other tools like ChatGPT, Claude, or Notion, and why it represents a major breakthrough in how we write. Type did agree to partner on this video with me, so use the link in the description or go to joseph.so slash type to support the channel. I love using this tool, so I was super excited for this opportunity. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, let me break down exactly why type is so revolutionary. Normal writing workflows look like this. You stare at a blank page, struggle to piece together a rough first draft, and then you spend hours editing and polishing. While you may disagree with its taste in writing, Grammarly mostly fixed grammar and basic editing. They introduced real-time corrections, which feels significantly better than manually proofreading. This reduces some editing time, but you're still starting from this terrifying blank page. Then ChatGPT revolutionized writing by solving the blank page problem entirely. But ChatGPT operates in isolation. You describe what you want, it generates text, and then you copy and paste that text into your actual writing environment, right? We just click here and take it into our Google Doc, of course. And that context switching is draining when it happens over and over again. Plus, ChatGPT's output rarely matches your specific voice or style without extensive prompt engineering. You're still doing the heavy manual editing to make AI-generated content feel authentically yours, right? Type fixes this with a few key innovations that make it an ideal collaborative writing partner. First, you'll never get stuck staring at a blank page. You just click generate draft and type guides you through the setup process for your new document. So you would just describe what you're writing here. You can be as detailed as you want. You upload your source material. So you can upload a file if you have one on your computer. You could use an existing type document if it's relevant to what you're now writing. Or the easiest one is you can use a URL. So if you have a source that you want to use, you can just paste it in. So I have a source on how to use generative AI to augment human creativity. What I also like to do here is use a writing style guide. So I'll find my video script writing style guide, and then that will tell type about how I like to communicate, right? And then the final step is to actually give type the format you're looking to create your document with. Previously, I've uploaded some examples of what I'm trying to emulate inside of type. So now type knows what I'm looking to write. It has some source material. I could obviously add more for better results. It has my writing style guide and it has the exact blog post format that I'm looking to emulate all ready to go. And then I just click generate. And now it's going to analyze everything and it's going to produce a great starting point for us to actually work with. Now it's learning the format and writing style. You can see it takes a few seconds here to actually produce something, but that's kind of what makes it so great. And now it's starting to generate. Okay, so it's done generating and it ended up doing 3000 words. I mean, this is a massive document, right? So now let's actually write. The most unique feature about type has got to be their inline AI integrations. So as you can see, I have their autocomplete turned on here, and I have Claude selected as my model of choice. So as you can see, I've let my cursor sit here for a second, and what's gonna happen is it's going to start the next paragraph. So you can see it says this. If I click tab, it will start writing for me. And as you can see, it says this comprehensive guide reveals a systematic approach to using AI that transforms your creative process from linear execution into exponential possibility. And just like that, it's written another paragraph for us to work with. This allows you to stay in that flow state and just keep pushing through whatever you're writing. And now if you want to, you can also trigger the continued writing. If you go to the slash command here, you can use a custom prompt and you can just tell it what to generate, right? Or you can just click continue writing and it will do the same thing See here, it gives us another line. And then if you like it, click tab and it will populate that text and it will continue. As I've been using this to write my own newsletters and content, it has made everything so much easier. And I'm really impressed by how it's able to pull in the context of whatever I'm working on and just give me relevant next words. It's just so good at predicting where I'm headed. Now, the other key AI feature instead of type is their 
copilot sidebar here we have on the right side. As you can see, it's got the source document that I provided at the beginning here and my writing style guide ready to go. And I can chat with it here and have a conversation. But my favorite feature is that I can highlight something that I maybe don't like in the text. And as you can see, it populates in the chat box as selected text. And I can use that as context and I can use that context and then it will actually work on that for me and make the text more eloquent. If I want to actually apply these changes, I just click on this little magic wand and it will apply the changes here and you can choose to accept or reject them. So I can accept and those changes have not been applied to the document. The next tab in the sidebar is the idea panel. So here it gives you the example of develop and maintain a personal AI prompt library that evolves with your creative style. That sounds relevant to how to maximize your creativity. So what I can do is click write it for me and it's gonna generate that. It generated it where my cursor was, but you can just drag this into another section wherever is most relevant. It just analyzed the entire context of everything that have in the document so far and it just created an entirely new section here. The last one is review. There's five different options here and of course the first one is custom. So if you want to use a custom prompt to make document-wide changes here you can just type it in so then it can take that custom prompt and this can actually take a few seconds here because it's got a lot of text to work with but it's going to make a ton of suggestions right and I can accept or dismiss any of them throughout the document individually or I can accept all of them if I go up here and click accept all. And then of course you have the other presets. So if you want to just improve the document, you can analyze it entirely. This last one's interesting. It says enhance structure and formatting. That one's pretty unique. So let's see what that one does. So it's gonna analyze the document again. And this is cool. So you can see it took a paragraph and made it into bullet points, right? So maybe if you want to make your blog post more visually engaging, then this is definitely a way to do it. People love bullet points. Another feature that I really appreciate about type is that you can see it has these dots here so I can drag any of these blocks around. It's all block based like Notion. So you can, I can easily reorder things however I like. On any of these, I can click the arrow and I can change the block type. I can add that divider. I can insert an image. Finally, if your document is ready, you just click share. You can create a link with a view only URL and it looks great, it's really simple and anyone can access that with the link or you can create your own blog post. You can host your article under your own type blog if you wanted to. Well, it used to take me three to four hours to produce, researching, outlining, writing, and editing a single piece. Now it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And of course the most meaningful change here is my writing quality has actually improved. Thanks to these features, I've been able to publish more content in the past three months than I did in the previous six months. The key here is that it still feels authentically mine, thanks to how easy it is to give type my personalized style guide. Honestly, I think the gap between AI assisted and traditional content creation is quickly going to become impossible to ignore. If you're writing a lot, I think this tool is actually priceless. The time savings alone justify the investment within your first week of use. All right, make sure to check out type in the description or go to joseph.so slash type. If you liked this video, you should go watch the one I made about my favorite AI note-taking apps. I think you'll like that one too. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.